I own $33,000 of this stock. Let's talk about it in today's video. And at the end of the video, I'm going to cover a stock down 90% in under a year. And is it ready for a potential bounce? Make sure you join the private Discord. Major shout out to Stockdown in the Discord and on Twitter. You can follow him on Twitter at the Stockdown. He called ONCR at 6.58 a.m. on Friday last week when it was pretty much near the dang bottom. It ended up running 285% that day. So if you want these gains, Discord link is in the top and comment. No guarantee, but we just throw out ideas in that private Discord. IRNT was alerted in the Discord on June 15th. The day after on June 16th, as you can see right here, receipts right here, it ended up making 145% return. So if you want these stocks on your radar, highly suggest hopping in that Discord. And I want to give an update on the stock I recently took a large position in, and I've, an, and I've even increased my position just recently on this stock. The ticker is ticker SOUN. The name is Sound, Soundhound AI. I covered this on May 31st, showing you, you know, my $16,000 position. After that video, it ended up dropping about 16% in about a few days. I then made a video on June 7th because people were like, dude, you just bought $16,000 of the stock and it's down 15%. What are you doing? And I made a video on June 7th clarifying that this is a long-term investment and that I plan to add more on those dips. And that's exactly what I ended up doing. I added some shares on the dip and my SOU and market value is now higher than the, that initial 16,000 because I put more money in the position since the stock went higher. And, and also since the stock went higher in price, the market value increased once again. From the pullback after that video to the most recent highs, that's a nice 45% potential return. On Friday last week, it was pretty much the only AI stock that was green. Yes, it ended up selling off towards the end of the day, as a lot of you know small cap stocks do sell off going into a long weekend. But at one point, SOUN was up 8% on Friday when... You know, C3 AI was down about three to four percent. And this is showing that it's a very strong artificial intelligence stock in this market. Now, from that initial video, you know, even after it dropping 15 percent, ended up rising back up. And from that price, when I made the initial video, it's still up 23 percent. I covered so much due diligence on SOUN and why I believe it's a great long term hold, including NVIDIA being an investor in the company, SOUN being in included in all of the AI related ETFs. SOUN has the best voice AI technology, and I believe that technology will be almost everywhere very soon and you know especially restaurants and you know fast food restaurants and and the drive through and most cars will have voice ai technology in it very soon I mean, you can just picture all of that happening right now. I see it happening. I see this being used in the real wor real world, you know, drastically and, and I think it's going to happen very quick. So what I didn't cover and what could be the catalyst to bring SOUN much higher by the end of 2023 is SoundHound AI is projecting to be profitable this year in 2023. By quarter four, SOUN plans to be cash flow positive. Cash flow positive means they have more cash coming in than going out. They're making money. If SOUN accomplishes cash flow positive by the end of 2023, it could go much higher in my opinion. SOUN has a growing bookings backlog of more than $300 million and they expect to reduce costs by 40% which could lead to being cash flow positive. SOUN will benefit from the upcoming AI market boom. The $100 billion AI market value is expected to grow 20 times by 2023 to nearly $2 trillion. Taking a look at the SOUN chart, it's looking very bullish right now. It did break out of break to the upside of this wedge I've been talking about for the past few videos. What I want to see is it come back down, test the $3.27 level and bounce back off of that level for more upside and to confirm the breakout. If it does break back down into the wedge down here, it could retest that $3 support level before bouncing back up. But overall, the chart looks great. If they become profitable, it's going to be huge for the company. They have over 100 million cash. I'm really bullish on SOUN. And I think obviously the AI hype is going to help here, but I think it has a real world use 
case and it's going to be heavily used in the future. That's my personal opinion. And I personally believe a lot of people are going to make millions of dollars off of investing in artificial intelligence early. Will SOUN be one of the companies to make people a lot of money? We don't have any guarantees on this channel, but I think it has that potential. And speaking of AI, you can get a free share of C3 AI right now worth like 40 over $40. If you use my Moomoo -Moo link in the top pin comment, sign up for Moomoo -Moo through my link, deposit $100 after signing up, and then you're also going to get a $100 cash reward. So get it right now. Get up to 17 free stocks. This ends by the end of June. Now, let's talk about Mullen. I know you guys like Mullen again, really, Moonmark. You're talking about Mullen. Yes, I, I'm going to have more, you know, unknown, you know, Penny stocks in the very near future. Make sure you have the notification bell on. This week, we're going to have some. It's going to be a shorter week, but I'm still going to have some bangers this week, so have the notification bell on. But I want to talk about Mullen one, at least one last time. No guarantee. I could talk about it again in the future, but I want to talk about if it could bounce, because that's a big question right now. Even after I made all those videos talking about how Mullen screwed over their shareholders, how much I don't like David Mystery, how much Lawrence Hodge was going out there being crazy, all that kind of stuff, I was still getting one big question from everybody. Does Mullen have a chance to bounce after such a steep decline? And I'm going to really focus in on can it bounce or not in this video. Is there at least a dead cat bounce coming from Mullen? A lot of people who watch this channel every day are day traders or swing traders. You know, they're selling, they're getting in, they're getting right back out. And when you see a stock decline so rapidly to the extent of losing 90% of its value in just a few months, many people wonder, is there a dead cat bounce coming soon? Because you can make decent profit of a dead cat bounce, although they're really hard to catch because you're literally just catching a falling knife. But before I talk about that, I still 100% stand by that Mullen is, this is my opinion, all my opinion, Mullen is a terrible long-term hold as long as David Mystery is the CEO. Maybe maybe if a new great CEO comes in, they, they could be a long-term hold. But right now with David Mystery, absolutely not. I don't believe David can bring long-term value to this company at all, at all. His main focus is making millions without keeping a grain of shareholder value in mind. Mullen has a market cap of $67 million, a $290 million float, and at $0.40 cents per share, according to Dilution Tracker. Before I go any further... Keep in mind, if you're even thinking about trading Mullen at these levels, I would highly suggest using a 15 to 20 percent stop loss. Mullen has been on a constant downtrend and could easily drop further. But there's also that possibility of a bounce, which is why I'm talking about it today. And it was highly suggested to talk about this topic from all of you. First of all, Mullen, it still has bad news coming in the near future. Mullen most likely will soon be removed from the Russell 2000 index unless it can get, get over a dollar, which, I mean, that's extremely unlikely. This means that the Russell, Russell 2000 indexes will sell 1.27 million of Mullen shares sometime soon, which could cause further downward pressure. If Mullen wants to come to get a nice a little dead cat bounce here it needs to bounce at 20 cents right here this support level 20 cents right there if it breaks under 20 cents and it fails this double bottom pattern it's kind of forming here on the smaller time frames you know it's just doing the same thing the same pattern that led to it reaching these these lows which is failing all the bullish pattern and chart setups so, for example, when Mullen was at the 70 to 80 cent level in late May, it formed a clear double bottom on the chart, but it completely failed to bounce off that pattern. That could easily happen once again, but I mean, 20 cents is a pretty dang low price. It could have go to 10, could have go to 15, could have go to 10, could have go even lower. Yes, of course. I mean, they're diluting constantly. There's, there's really bad news on the way. It's just a mess, but I'm still going to talk about this because it does have that potential to bounce. The double, and, and I was talking about this double bottom that it failed. Keep in mind, the double bottom pattern has a 78% success rate. So when it fails, it's very bearish and, and most likely means it's just going to keep going lower. So if you see Mullen break under 20, that could be a sign to run away. I mean, most of you are already running away and you're far gone out of here, but, you know, some of you aren't. Some of you still think there's an opportunity here for a dead cat bounce. And I also do believe there is that opportunity, although it's extremely risky and, you know, you're kind of putting your money in a stock that has, in my opinion, a crooked CEO and you're giving him volume to potentially dilute more. But there could be an opportunity here to make money because when a stock is down this much, usually when it finally does bounce, it can bounce a good bit. Although there's no guarantees with this one, but 
there is that possibility. So the RSI is at 18.86 on the Mullen Daily. If you don't know, RSI determines if a stock is oversold or overbought. Under a 30 RSI means it's oversold. Over 70 means it's overbought. Just because Mullen is at 18 and it's well below the 30 oversold RS, oversold RSI does not mean it's all, you know automatically means it's going to start bouncing up from here. I've seen Jag X reach an RSI under 10 before it had a small bounce. It can go the other way. It can be the other way around as well. I saw Eyeless stay over a 70 RSI for almost you know 30 days, reaching as high of a as a 90 RSI before finally pulling back. The point is RSI is not a guaranteed indicator. Now, after my Mullen videos from last week, many people wanted me to point out my point out Mullen's cash position compared to their market cap. Mullen does have 135 million cash, which is fairly, you know, fairly high amount of cash compared to their market cap and compared to some of their competitors that have had a fairly big bounce recently. For example, Nikola ticker NKLA has 17 million cash and you know, they just had a 200% bounce. And this is a reason why I'm bringing up, you know, Mullen for a potential dead cap bounce, because a lot of these EV companies have had very aggressive bounces over the past few weeks, last week specifically. I mean, NKLA bounced 200%, Solo bounced 94%, RIDE Ride bounced 100%. I mean, there's all these EV companies that are bouncing, but and overall for Mullen, there could be a bounce if it holds 20 cents this week. It could have, you know, a 20, 30, 40% bounce. It's possible. If it breaks under 20, it's probably going to keep going lower. But make sure you have a 15 to 20% stop loss because it could easily continue to spiral downwards towards 10 cents from these levels. Make sure you get your free AI stock with the Moomoo link in the top end comment. And make sure you join the private Discord with the link in the top end comment where ONCR was alerted last week for a 285% percent potential return in just a few hours that's it for me drop a like on this video peace